presentation is going to focus on how urban and regional planning in Lesotho has been relegated to the sidelines while our country has been destroyed by every tomb, every decade, every year. <laughs> so I'm going to be very short. I think the duty of every urban and regional planner starts here and ends here. All these other things are secondary. This is the primary thing. Thinking ahead. We need to think about our settlements, our environment, our economic well-being. And we will build a very strong social being in this world. So my topic is uh, the unwanted bastard child of Lesotho's economic development. Ever and reason I'm bringing in the present soon. Because uh, there is no regulation, there is no control of development. Everyone does what he or she likes or wants. Peri urban areas in Lesotho are growing very rapidly. They even grow more than the gazetted or formal urban areas. Uh, the growth causes engrossment of residential development on, on, on agricultural, prime agricultural land, and that threatens our food security. In the next 15-20 years, one three years old, we are eighteen years, I look at the We don't know when I will look at So there is an unregulated land market which causes this disorganization in our country. Uh, we have field owners, individual field owners. some fly by night unqualified, unregulated, so-called estate agents. Mm -hmm. There are some chiefs. Mostly, these chiefs are corrupt. Because they are not land You have to pay something. Then we have incompetent local authorities. Our councils are a mess. We are a mess. We are contributing to the destruction of our country. And how is our country going to develop? How is our economic development or even economic growth? Or how, is, how is our economy going to grow in these circumstances? The result of all this is chaos. Let's look at a few statistics. The Soto's population now is about 2 million. Our unemployment rate is at 32.8%. <coughs> uh, some more well by by their will 45 and something percent. Our GDP growth rate is at 1.2%. We are really a depressed economy. We are a depressed country. Uh, there is no doubt why it is because we are, you see, Katoba and Katoba they are depressed because of the depressing situation. <laughs> <laughs> now let's come to my own view. I'm a dreamer. I like dreaming. Uh, but to and give to one about Say Professor Sir Peter Hall. Uh, Martin Luther King Jr. said I have a dream. So I, I've got a dream. I think we should use time and regional planning to stimulate our economic growth, our economic well-being as a country. We need to go back to basics. Do play, uh, basic planning. I think if we can take traditional planning, take the fourth industrial revolution nonsense that is being canvassed all over, and then combine them, we can build a economically sustainable country. Let's go back to, what, to, to, to where it all began. Planning is about control. It's about regulating and it's about facilitating development. Entrepreneurs have got a lot of money. 
They want to spend, spend their money by developing. And like I said in the beginning, all development happens on land. We need to direct those people who have money where to develop what. They have got money, they don't have planning ideas or development ideas. They want to, uh, to, to, to spend their money. We need to direct them to facilitate the development. We need to designate land where there can be uh, mixed development or mixed use development. Residential, like they said, residential, commercial, maybe industrial, open spaces, whatever. And then I advocate strongly to go back. Zone land according to its characteristics, according to its best suitable use. Undertake intensive planning studies or land use studies to determine for an more or more suitable for what and put that land to that use only. Gazette those land use zones in order to enhance land and uh, I mean enforcement. Even if it needs uh, needs arises sorry Let's create special economic zones. is blessed. He's blessed. I use the word blessed because I'm standing at the pulpit. <laughs> so our country has got different very few, but special and very important resources. We have got water. We have got high quality levels. Let's zone our country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about we around the say in Kimura and the mineral to post that I want? Let's zone that. Hey, they live more than the Katak Melami Rafa. However, we have one of the Bagaze along the borders. Oma Puts, oh. Suitable for manufacturing, for industry. How are the industries there? How are the other two men are going to be able to put China. How are the Lucas and Mahularo? The Mugusa want to put it on a little hole, cup of hole. Over hundred by the South Provisa, Boyaba will not go to one little more than forty five. The Sotola Provisa. And let's have a car is all we say no. However, the Provisa you boom, it is good. Hatha Rebelli, Hazel, Chay, the production, and a lay downstream, and an upstream. Hazel, this all other associated activities debate around that area. Hazel will be all the things that we need. Be clustered together. Then, for the more fertile along the lowlands, let's zone that land and protect it from destruction. Go away, but whatever, my sim card. We are not going to lay in a more out in Anna. Ema Congressa and Ariapu can Alamata Guanabona, Kiwanaka put lace to show Matagana Javasu, Kapuyam, Matagani, Kapakana, cannabis, whatever it's called. Everyone wants the license. Let's zone those areas. There are another potential like for what we can do. So that's why we need that high quality cannabis. And lastly, let's protect our wetlands. If we need to solve also, try about to about where we go. We go in the upper. Let's do that because. I have a one hundred of progress of temple of Yellow and I will have to make There was no water in your house. Fella the Sutul Nale, so many wetlands, Terry Catil and Gully, Kelabasu. To achieve all this, yes, we need the government, but for this many, many years, the government is unwilling to do anything. I don't know the reason, maybe it's justified. I don't care. We need Lesotho Town and Regional Planning Institute to take the lead in approaching the private sector. These guys want to develop. They've got money. They don't know where to spend their money. So let's use their money for our own advantage. 
and for their own profit making. Let us uh, attract them, maybe to our conferences, to our seminars like this. Let's talk to them. Lesotho Town and Regional Planning Institute, visit the offices of the Lesotho Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or whatever it's called. Engage these guys. We need them to support us because the government is not winning. This is the era of fourth industrial revolution. We are still far back as we should. But we can, we can, we can try. It's time that we use GIS technology, GIS GPS technology, uh, high definition satellite imaging, 3D, 4D printing capabilities, computer aided planning, simulations and modeling. Simulation is in a wall. Drone technologies. Can I say it's a drone? negativity. These things can happen if we engage the private sector because the government is going to tell you that they don't have money. When the real reason maybe is that they are not interested. They, do, they doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, now it's a little bit of a Hili kutabuti. Ine kisha wa Google uh, Google Earth. Google Earth, kuta leka ho reo fa di image they updated. But they are very distorted because they mba Google Earth panale pepo siya ho beba nze tribu. It's not the pepo siya plenty. Why this a very little drone? Hama America dis, adi gomela wa gola ya batubala al Qaeda leba Taliban leba Daesh. Kona wa nere sa di sebe disi for our plenty in pepo si. Kasa di sebe disi to register fi. Is a dream. We can make our own dreams. We can make our own dreams. We can make our own dreams. We can make